So 1 times negative 2 plus 2 will be 0. And what about for negative 3? What should I multiply 1 by to get a 0 here? 3. One times three will be three minus three will be zero. Good, moving on. Which row do I have to copy for sure because I'm using it? Two. Yes, so one, two, one. Let's see what we get. One times negative two plus two. Sure. 2 times a negative 2 minus 1. 2. Negative. Very good. 1 times negative 2 minus 1. Negative 3. Excellent. 1 times 3 plus th minus 3. 0. Excellent. 2 times 3 plus 2. 8. Excellent. 1 times 3 plus 5. 8. Excellent. We are done with this. Where are we now? 8. That's it. This has to become a 1. How do we make that to be a 1? Divided by 8. Eight divided by 8. 1. 8 divided by 8. Can can anyone give us already Z? One. That's it. Okay, so now our final step is to get a zero here and to get a zero here. Is the last step. Which row do we have to use? Three. Very good. And we are adding it to row one. Don't write anything. I just, by mistake, I wrote that. And we add it into row two. What do I multiply 1 to eliminate the negative 5 in row 1? What do I multiply 1 by to eliminate the negative 5 in row 1? Huh? Excellent. What do I multiply 1 to eliminate the 2 in row 2? 2. Okay. Let's try again. So I have to multiply 1 by a number to add it to 2 to get 0. It's negative 2. Is that clear, everyone? Is that clear why it's negative 2? Yes. OK, perfect. Final step. And then we can read the solution. And of course, we have to go back and check. Don't trust this. It's so easy to make a mistake in anything, especially this method. OK, ready? So, I copy everything except these two. Okay, 1 times 5 minus 5. 0. Excellent. 1 times 5 minus 3. 2. Excellent. 1 times negative 2 plus 2. Zero. Perfect. One times negative two plus one. Negative one. That's it. Can anyone right now write the ordered triple? The solution that we hope is the solution of the system. We'll check in a minute. Will it be zero, one, zero? So one represents x, which is two. There is nothing else. This is the column for y. y equals? Negative 1. And there is nothing here. Just in the column for z, there is a 1. So then z must be? 1. Is that better? Yes. So 2, negative 1, 1. I have no clue. 
don't trust anything. Just go back and original system two negative one one two negative one one two negative one one. Negative a positive two and minus two will be zero. Negative one equals negative one. 2, but positive 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4, yes. 2 minus 1 is 1, minus 3 is negative 2. Only now I can say yes. And it's the only solution. I checked. Any questions? Any questions? Can we do uh, another swapping one where you swap rows? Yes. I have no idea which one will... Uh, uh, by looking at the system, I will not know whether we uh, need to swap. So we can just pick another. I'm not sure which one will, will require down the road. I can't see... Um, by simply looking at the, uh, the system, I don't, I can't say whether it needs a swapping or not. I can check a few of them, work on them myself, and then uh, pick one for Wednesday. But if you want just to uh, work on another problem right now, let's choose another problem. But I can't, by simply looking at the system, I won't be able to tell you whether down the road there is a need. I don't think anyone can do that. Would you like to work on another problem or? Yeah, no, it's fine. Don't, uh, I guess we just, we just do another problem, that's fine. Okay, let's do another problem, very good. Uh, would you like to choose or you want me to choose? You can choose. Okay, I'm looking at one which uh, does not have um, some of the entries. 3y minus z equals negative 1 and x plus 5y minus z and this may be something that you would be happy with you'll see in a moment why okay can anyone give us the uh, augmented matrix uh, notice that uh, x below x, y below y, z below z, equal symbol below the equal symbol, free term. So the system is appropriate. It's arranged in the correct order. We are ready to start. So can anyone give us a rows or, or columns? It doesn't matter. I'm getting a sip of water. I have my pitcher here. Anyone? Okay, well, 0, 1, negative 3, 3, 5, 6, negative 1, negative 1, 2, negative 1, negative 4, 11. We agree with this? Yes. Now, I think that Vinny will be happy because we have to do this. We have no choice. So I need a one in the first row, first column. So I am going to swap. I'm going to say, right, that row two becomes row one and row one becomes row two. So then I copy 1, 5, negative 1, negative 4. I copy 0, 3, negative 1, negative 1. I copy negative 3, 6, 2, 11. And look, lucky me. I have accomplished two different entries already. Now I'm here. I need to use which row? And add it to row 3 and multiply it by something. Which row we multiply? Row 1. Very good. In the first step it has to be row 1, always. 1 times what will be 0 here? Uh, 
1 times a number minus 3 will be 0. What number? Three. Is that clear, everyone? One times three minus three is zero. So this is the number we need. Is that okay? Yes. Okay, which row I have to copy because it will not change. I'm using it. So while I'm using it, it cannot change. Eventually it will change, but not at this step. Row two. We are multiplying row one. So oh. then row one, we are because we are using it, it cannot change at this point. One, five, negative one, negative four. Also, in this case, just it happened that also row two stays. Okay, so one times three minus three. Zero. Perfect. Five times three which is 15, 15 plus 6, 21. 5 times 3, I'm checking. 5 times 3, 15 plus 6, 21. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3 plus 2. Negative, negative 1. Yep. Uh, negative 4 times 3 negative 12 plus 11 negative 1 a mess I'm, I don't know the solution I'm just I'm just making sure that I copied the problem correctly there was no mistake I just I have to use a fraction now there is no way I have to divide but I'm just I'm gonna go and look one more second and make sure I copied it correctly I copy 24, because sometimes uh, when I don't check, I copy from one problem and then, okay, I copy 24, correct? Yes, 0, 3y minus z equals negative 1, x plus 5y minus z equals negative 4, negative 3, x plus 6y plus 2z equals 11. Yes, I copied everything, correct. Good. So, we swap these two. When we had a 1, 5, negative 1, and negative 4 is the first row, we um, uh, copied the uh, last row correctly, and we moved 0, 3, negative 1, negative 1. Okay, that's what it is. So um, one more time, that's 0, and that's 15 plus 6 is 21, negative 3, negative 1, uh, negative 12, negative 1. That's it. Moving on. Well, I have no choice but continue here. That's my next step. This is done. It will never change again. So I have no choice but divide row two oops, by three. Ugly, but there are other options, but I don't want to complicate things. So 5, negative 1, negative 4, 21, negative 1, negative 1. So 3 divided by 3 is 1, but negative 2 divided by 3 will be negative 2 thirds, and negative 1 divided by 3 will be negative 1 third. Ugly, but that's the situation. These are done, and this is done. The next step, we want to make these two numbers disappear. Which row are we going to use at this point? Row 3. Row 2. This is the second step. And st step 1, we used row 1. And step 2, we used row 2. And finally, we used row 3. Okay, so what do we multiply 1 by to eliminate this? Uh, but negative, right? Negative five. Uh, Perfect. What do I multiply one by to eliminate this number? Negative twenty-one. Excellent. Great job. Which row I copy? Of course, the one zero zero cannot change. But which row I copy now, because I know I'm using it and it cannot change. Row two. Very good. 
So 1, negative 2 thirds, and negative 1 third. 1 times negative 5 plus 5. Zero. Perfect. Careful now. Negative 2 over 3 times negative 5 over 1 will be a positive number. 2 over 3 times 5 over 1, this is 10 over 3. And I have to subtract 1. This times this minus 1. So 10 thirds minus 1 is 7 thirds. Negative one third times negative five is five over three, but I have to subtract four. So this is, remember we have to multiply by three, the least common denominator is three, and then five minus 12, negative seven over three. One times negative 21 plus 21 will be zero. Now this is nice because I'll be able to simplify. I multiply two negative numbers, 2 over 3 times 21 over 1, and I'll simplify, and I get 14. And then um, so hold on one second, I, I messed up something. Oh no, no, that's fine, that's fine. So this times this, uh, minus 1, minus 1. So I got 14 minus 1. I did mess up. So negative 2 thirds times negative 21 is 14, but then minus 1 is 13. Negative 1 third times negative 21 is 7, but 7 minus 1 is 6. Any questions? I'm checking my answers. Negative 21 plus 21. So when I multiplied here, I simplified and I got 14. Positive 14 minus 113. Let's see here one more time. 21. So this was 7 minus 1, 6. Ugly looking, but what can I do? So in the next step, we will divide the row 3 by 13. One zero 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 one zero and very ugly looking six over thirteen. I should probably check my numbers one more time. Negative five. So this was negative ten, positive ten thirds, minus one, seven thirds, and then again um, five thirds and minus four, five minus twelve. Yes, that's correct. Seven thirds, that's correct. Negative 21, that's zero. Negative 21, and again, I'm doing this. Seven is 14 minus one. It is 13. I have nothing to do. I, I know it's 13. I didn't like it, but it's, it's what it is. So this is positive seven minus one. It's still, that's it. Very ugly. Okay, final step. We have to multiply for this final step of row 3 by something to add it to row 1, and row 3 by something and add it to row 2. Okay, to eliminate 7 thirds, obviously negative 7 thirds. To eliminate negative 2 thirds, obviously 2 thirds. And we'll see what happens. Okay. 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 6 divided by 13. Wow. Okay, so a 1 times negative 7 thirds plus 7 thirds, luckily, of course, that's what we want. Okay, now this is a mess. So this times this would be negative 42 over 39. It is negative and minus 7 thirds. So this is 39 and this is 13. So negative 42 minus uh, 91 is it? 1 and 2. 
Look. All of a sudden, I became lazy. 42 plus 91 and divided by 39. Nope, it's not divisible. So negative, so 133 over 39. I'm checking my numbers again. I multiplied by negative 7 thirds, yes. Negative 39, 42, yes. Minus 7 over 3, so it's 13, yes. 291, and then 3, and then 13. Negative 133 over 39. Wow. Okay, 1 times 2 thirds minus 2 thirds is 0. This times this is 12 over 39 and minus 1 third. And then 13. 12 minus 13 is negative 1. Negative 1 over 39. Ooh. Sorry, guys, for choosing some something like this. My fault, 133 over 39, negative 1 over 39, and 6 over 13. Is this true? I have no clue. Not in the least. Okay, go back to the original system. I'm going to copy it on a different page. So I'm going to copy it here. So 3y minus z equals negative 1, and x plus y, y minus z equals negative 4, and negative 3x plus 6y plus 2z equals 11. Okay, so of course this is x comma y comma z. So let, let me check one, and if it's not working, then I have to go back to the drawing board. So 3 multiplied by negative 1 over 39 and minus 6 over 13, they say it's negative 1. Is it? I don't know. I have no idea. So this is negative 1 over 13 because I simplify. And minus 6 over 13 is nowhere near negative 1. This is negative 7 over 13. So I have an error. I double-checked everything, and I couldn't find it. So 0, 3, negative 1, negative 1. I copy this correctly. OK. Then we swapped. If you find my error, I'll be very happy not to check. Negative 3, 6, 2, 11. That was OK. In the next step, 1, 5, negative 1, negative 4. We divided by, oh, I found my mistake. Oops, oops, oops. I copy 3 here correctly, but instead of negative 1, I copied negative 2. How come I copied this? I have no idea. My apologies. So this is negative one third. This is negative one third. And that uh, changes everything from this point on. By me copying two, negligently, copying instead of negative one, copying here negative two. From this point on, it messed up the whole problem. I'm going to make do it again with the correct number here, and I will post the correct answer. So I'm going to have to cross this out. Sorry. That's why we always have to check. My apologies. A little error by copying something incorrectly. It was not even a... Arithmetic error, but by copying something incorrectly, the whole thing collapsed. And I just didn't see it, and I went back. It's a it's a good example. Um, in these problems, I don't recommend trying to go back and check. I think better the best method is to go back to, from to the drawing board from scratch and redo the problem. 
So we got the idea, I know, but I still would like to finish this up and I will post the correct. I will post this too so you see what I did. But I will write the problem one more time when I scan the papers and post them for you. Sorry.